Servus. Welcome back to another episode of Yoga for BJJ. So today I have a relaxing um, post-workout rest day-ish yoga flow for you. So if you feel stiff and not mobile enough for jiu-jitsu or someone told you like, man, you need to work on your mobility, uh, this is the perfect video for you. So we do a couple of exercises uh, to help the body recover and re-energize, but also to work on flexibility and mobility throughout the entire body, especially the hips and shoulders, uh, since these are the most common stiff body parts for jiu-jitsu players. So yeah, uh, we do exercises to prevent injuries and get better into coming into certain positions that appear in jiu-jitsu more often and you don't need any equipment for this just come to the floor use a yoga mat if you want to or do it in the jiu-jitsu gym on your on the mats and share with your friends share with your training partners uh, get a routine in and work on your mobility more often i know a lot of you a little bit lazy when it comes to mobility so here I am trying to give you some inspiration for the videos and uh, for give you some inspiration for your uh, post-workout routine so just try it have fun with it and see what happens with your body and your jiu-jitsu game so if you want to stay on top you have to put in the extra work. And this is another nice way to step up your Jiu Jitsu game a little bit more. So yeah, to become the best version of yourself, you have to put in extra work. So without talking any further, come onto your mat, enjoy this practice, and let me know what you think in the comments. I will see you on the mat. Let's go. So today's practice, we start in Sphinx pose, so come onto your belly, lower down, bring your forearms to the ground and the shoulders are on top of your elbows, your forearms are parallel to each other and then you want to bring the back of your feet to the ground and press them into the floor. Not with full force but keep the legs active, keep the glutes engaged and lift up from your shoulders and breathe. So in Jiu Jitsu we always round forward like curl into little balls and all the shrimping and framing and rolling. Uh, if you've done Jiu Jitsu for a while you know this is like really, um, how you say, um, you're always like falling forward. So to counter that we do a little bit of back bending and opening the front side of our hips and shoulders. Yeah, so we stay healthy and can keep rolling uh, for a long time since everybody of us wants to keep doing this. We need to take care of our bodies. So this is like one basic exercise to help with that and if you want more and if you don't feel any stretch stretching sensation at all you can straighten both arms for what we call seal pose in yoga and here it's really important that you don't pull the shoulders up like this try to bring the shoulder blades back and down and together so this is a pretty active pose to uh, be in <clears throat> and think about more more about uh, opening the front side of the body than compressing back like it's really important to open the front of the body keep breathing and stay here for two more breaths and release, lower the chest down, shake out the hips and then bring your left arm to the left side 
for a wrestler stretch you want to bring your right foot over the right uh, left leg and step over the left leg and try to really open up your left shoulder but also your right hip so the right knee falls to the outside a little bit so your groin area is getting a nice stretch as well all the guards like close guard or like half guard you always uh, engaging your adductors and your groin muscles so they get really tight and this is a nice way while stretching your shoulder uh, to stretch your groin area as well if this is too intense for you you don't have to add the uh, stretch in the groin area but yeah try it stay here for two more breaths Breathe deep into your stomach and then slowly release. Switch sides. Right arm to the right side, bring the left hand underneath the left shoulder. Step the left foot over the right leg. Open the shoulder and maybe open the left hip. You can keep the head lifted or maybe lower it down to the ground whatever feels nice and I didn't say it in the first round but keep the palm on the floor not the back of the hand we want to have an external rotation in the shoulder to make the stretch a little bit more intense we want to open the front side of the body keep breathing and maybe you feel it in your lower back as well. This is one of my favorite uh, poses to be in, to be honest, since it takes care of so many areas of the body. So if you are limited uh, with your time, do this, really. This is so amazing. And then release. And we do another variation of this pose. So we do still getting an external rotation in the shoulder, but this time we have 90 degrees uh, bent in the elbow joint. And now step your right foot slowly over the left leg. This is way more intense than the other position. So please be gentle, don't force it. This is actually like a good uh, way to prevent injuries in, in the Americana or different arm locks, shoulder locks. Um, yeah. So you have a little bit more mobility, mobility and flexibility in this position. Two more breaths. And release, switch sides, right arm and step your left foot over the right leg. Come back to the middle and slowly lift up, come, come onto your knees. My German came out again, so yeah. <laughs> Sit on your uh, heels, keep the back of the feet flat on the ground and to stretch out uh, your feet you want to lean back a little bit, keep the spine upright, bring your hands maybe to the floor and then lift up. Your knees and then lower them back down four more times please be gentle or if you want it a little bit more intense you can bring your hands 
away from the floor. And three more times, lift up. And as you imagine, this is to prevent injuries when you are like in turtle position and someone pulls you back and you roll over your feet, you have a little bit more range of motion. So you stay safe in this position. And come back. Maybe move a little bit forward on your mat and become into a little bit of a back bend. So lift your hips up and bring your hands behind your back. So maybe this is enough for you or if you want more you can come onto your forearms for example let the head back. fall back. I don't like this but uh, some people do. I like to look forward or up but it's important to keep the glutes engaged and push your hips up so you get the full effect of this position. Keep breathing and again this is like to counteract all the forward folding, all the curling up into little balls in Jiu Jitsu. So opening the front is really, really nice. Two more breaths here. Some of you maybe can even bring your legs to the floor, but I can't do that. <laughs> no chance. And slowly lift up and we come into a butterfly position so cross your shins sit onto your butt and then come into a seated butterfly position i turn a little bit so you can see me better but you can stay as you are on your mat well um, bring your heels first uh, together and bring the heels close to your butt let the knees fall down towards the sides and keep your spine for now a little bit more upright. Relax your shoulders and relax your muscles, especially in the groin area. Such a great position. Really nice. I love it. And if you want to fold forward or get a little bit of a stretch in your lower back, you can bring your forearms underneath your shins, grab your feet and then, yeah, fold forward. So breathe and enjoy. Three more breaths here. Slowly release and lift up again and come onto your back. For a happy baby, I turn around so you see better. <clears throat> For a happy baby, you bring your hands to the outside of your feet and your arms are on the inside of your legs. And you want to pull your knees or your feet towards your body. If this is enough for you, you can stay here. Or if you want more, open your legs and push the hands into the feet and the feet into the hands while trying to pull the knees towards the floor. And this is a really nice hip opener. And this is 
I also like mimicking, like being in a guard or getting stacked and get a little bit more comfortable in these positions when somebody is stacking you and putting a lot of weight onto your body. Send your breaths into your stomach, into your belly. And enjoy. Then release, shake out your legs and then bring the uh, feet a little bit apart and then uh, let the knees fall together. So you'll get a slight stretch on the outside of the hips. It's a counter movement to all the opening we just did. One more breath here. And then we come into a bridge pose. So for bridge pose, you bring the heels close towards your butt. So close that you can touch your feet with your hands. And with the next inhale, engage your core, engage your glutes and lift up the hips. And stay here for five deep breaths. And if you like to, you can interlace your hands, your fingers behind your lower back or behind your butt to open up the shoulders a little bit more. the hips up higher, engage the glutes more. It's the last pose for today. And then release and come into a Shavasana. So our last pose. Just bring the arms to the sides of your body, let the palms face up, let the feet fall apart and relax for a moment here. Let go of the control over your breathing. And enjoy the feeling of having to do nothing. This video will end now can stay here for as long as you want to and I recommend doing breath work or meditation practice afterwards I have a couple of videos for that on my channel as well so check them out and I really appreciate each and every one of you to, who come back to my videos and everyone who's here for the first time as well of course and thank yourself for taking time out of your day to grow to evolve and I'm excited to see you soon namaste